Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome back to Massive Chalice. Alright, so... How are we gonna do this? Well, obviously... Uh, we gotta kill a bunch of people. So Arwen has Anvil, which means she can probably lay the smack down on somebody. In fact, I want to see what Arwen can do with the follow-up shot. Probably pretty decent against a Twitcher or some such. Actually, that looks like pretty high damage anyways. Let's, let's see what happens. Let's go there. Alright. That's pretty nifty. I suppose I could go for the rupture, but I'm, I'm tempted. I'd, I'd rather take the twitchers out, is what I'm trying to say. Now then, we've also got this one with the... Uh, there we go. The bone bar bow. I think that's a perfect lineup. Let's try that. Wow. Yeah, and that's a pretty decent amount of damage, too, so... It'll probably, at the very least, it'll probably stun the Twitcher. And that way we don't have to waste uh, Perilous Core, even though that would have been pretty cool. Go ahead. Nice. Alright, we stunned the laps. I think the Twitcher's stunned, too. Oh no, he's not stunned. He's just twitchy. Alright, alright. Losing a turn to recover. Hmm. Oh, we've got a Time Fist. I would love to test the Time Fist out. I would so love to test the Time Fist out. Knock target into the future! That's really freaking cool. I'm, I'm assuming that Time Fisting will result in us having to fight the Twitcher in the next battle. I am interested in this, though, so for the purposes of science, we're going to time fist that Twitcher at 7 health, because that, that would be pretty easy, I'm assuming, if that showed up. Yeah, I don't know. What is it? Uh... Oh. What happens if I hit that? Oh, you just tell me. Okay, knock into the future. Do it! Whoa! That's terrifying. Anyways, it worked, so that's nice. Uh, yeah. Make that gangster move. What are we? What are we throwing here? We're throwing uh, no, just normal flasks. Okay. So not ideal, but uh, you know, no reason that shouldn't work. Maybe we'll throw it there and hope that it actually gets someone else too. Critical. Hey. That worked out pretty nice. Now, of course, that still leaves us fighting a couple ruptures. 70 damage. That is insane. Alright. Let's see what you can do. You know, decent odds. Decent odds. Hey, hello. We got a new enemy here. It's going to be one of these two. Rupture's got pretty high dodge ability. Let's take out the laps. That might actually stun the uh, uh, rupture. It did not, but it did push him farther away, so I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Oh uh, yeah, let's just move it on up. I'm expecting a shot. Oh. Oh, maybe not. Advanced rupture, okay. Oh. That rupture took off also. I am going to try and avoid time fisting too much. 
Also, we didn't get any experience points, so that really does seem like the kind of thing that you would use in a bit of an emergency or something. Where you think, okay, I'll deal with this next time. Oh, I shouldn't have... Uh, did we get stunned? We did not. Okay. Not too shabby at all. Feel free to stealth on up. that one up a bit. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to risk it. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> Holy cow. Let's just hope for the best. Alright. Obscured. Oh, that's not nice. He's there. Oh, don't come too close now. Okay. That appears to have worked out. Alright, pretty decent shot. Ah, oh, I don't understand what's going on with that. Why such an awful, awful shot? I mean, if that's the case, you might as well move further back, you know? Take the shot from a safer distance. So let's go ahead and do that. Woo! Yeah! That worked out pretty well. Can you... Oh no. But you've got a really high shot at this, so... Go for it! Wow! Critical hit, 63 damage, that was juicy. Okay. We're pretty solid. Um, that is a bone barb bow. Okay. I like what I'm seeing. Let's run on up, then. Well, I suppose... Something like that. Yeah. Alright. Things look pretty safe. I'm feeling pretty good here. Let's let's go for that shot. Not too shabby. That leaves us with this fella. I feel pretty confident about that. Aha. No stun again. Very nice, very nice. Now, unfortunately, we've got a Twitcher over there. So it seems very likely that we're going to have problems in a little. In a jiffy here. Oh, no. Okay, no problems. Oh, we can see the Twitcher. The Twitcher can't see us. That's lovely. And what does that? That's just a natural. Sight is 11. What's the Twitcher's sight? Ten. Ha! That's pretty nice of the game. I bet that changes on higher difficulty levels, though. That won't get us the kill shot that we're hoping for. That, however, would be nice. Let's move there. Six to thirty-two. Well, you know, that seems fairly legitimate. It's really too bad about that clumsiness thing. I'll take it. Twenty-seven damage. That was nifty. Uh, Mark with the bone bar bow for the kill. Quite nice. Wow. That is a lot of experience points. Ah, oh, we should have given that to persistence. Oh well. 
Four life choices on my part. I'm not 100% sure which way to go, but uh, left side looks pretty decent. Alright. Let's see if we can't kill these jerks. You know, we probably can't. Honestly, probably not, but... It doesn't make that not a decent move, will it? Speed of three. Oh, that's nice. So it can only go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we'll be safe. So let's take that shot. Fairly nice. A little bit of armor corrosion. Nice level. Oh, we leveled up to six. It's always good. Flare or a blinding shot. A non-damaging direct shot that severely reduces the sight and accuracy field targets. Well, blinding shot sounds pretty nifty. I like the flare also, but let's go with blinding shot for now. Oh. Alas, you cannot. Okay, go there. Excuse me. Oh. Got a new rupture. Another one. I like how they're positioning themselves. Oh, no. He's sneaky. He, he saw that. He was like, nope. Not on my watch, buddy. Do we have a... Mark Fatty Brock. Now, well, that just seems rude. <laughs> Mark Fatty. What the hell? Also, that seems like that might cause some damage. Oh. How about this then? Oh, that is rough. Alright, let's try it. Not bad. Send them back to that sludge from whence they came. And a level up. Ooh. Throw items or the acid solution. Oh, apparently we don't really want you to throw items, hey? Well, if that's the case, acid solution it is. Oh, the bees in a bottle. That'll that'll apparently mix quite nicely with the blinding shot. So that's not too shabby. A for acid. Not the drugs. The actual corrosive substance. <laughs> Alright. Oh. We have a collapse. In judgment. Um. I guess that doesn't work. What a bummer. Do you want the rupture or the lapse? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, honestly, I think. I think we're okay. I don't think we have to worry about the rupture. So let's take out the lapse. Oh, oh dear. Did it? I did, didn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no! Oh, that's awkward. Oh, that's awkward. Ah! Time fist the rupture. Only a 72% chance. I'm not, I'm not cool with that, bro. Bro, I'm so not cool with that. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Oh, goodness. I hope it doesn't do that much damage. Oh, no. Mark Fatty Brockner is about to get it. Eesh. That was unfortunate on my part. Now, that actually feels pretty practical right there. Oh. I think I think we're okay. What did I get? Oh, blinding shot. Yeah. That's fine, I guess. <sighs> okay. We're still alive. That is what matters. Again, 65%. That is rough. Oh, that is rough. Okay. No, I think that's it. And turn and hope that we don't get blown up. I think we're about... Oh, yeah. We got blown up. Bummer. 
Oof. Now, we, we do take damage every turn, don't we? Oh, ah. Now it's just for standing on there, right? Armor boost. Yeah, that's just for standing on there. So you have reduced armor. Whew. All right, it's time to move you away. Anybody have a... You have a healing potion. We're going to use your healing potion on, on Fatty over here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. That is something else, isn't it? See if you can't kill him. Thank you. Uh, please go ahead and use your potion. Thanks. Alright, meanwhile over here... Right. Walk a little bit back. Take that lovely shot. Nice. <sighs> I get way too excited about this. I keep thinking uh, wow. that Watching character must have like been. like seeing the battle at Screed's Gate again. We didn't tell you about that one, did we? I don't believe so. Screed's Gate, House of the Thieves without houses. <laughs> I keep thinking that that character must have pessimism or something because 65% and yet did pretty well for most of the shots. I don't think I don't think the character missed any. Okay, the acid solution or prime target. Ooh, excuse me, I'm not quite sure. Prime target might actually work pretty well. Let's try prime target. Prime target mixed with the armor that we're about to unlock, I think will work quite well. Of course we want another nuker out of Aducan, so that's fine. That worked pretty well. Pretty easy map. I guess it's good. Level 5 male alchemist has joined your roster. Okay, that's pretty nice. Let's look at this level 5 male alchemist. Who was it? Matthew DeBroth. Longevity, clumsy, cocky, lone wolf. Oh, pretty shit. Pretty shit, like usual. Alright, well, that's okay. We're about to get bone shell armor, so that's exciting. Let's do this! Yeah, bone shell armor is complete and ready to be broken in. That's pretty exciting. Uh, Wonder Pants, Sponge Stone, Ultra... You know, the Ultra Elixir sounds appealing. The Ultra Elixir. The Earl's Nation. Armor, weapons, weapons... Uh, elite alchemy training as well as elite caber training sounds particularly useful. The boom slinger sounds interesting, but again, those are just different weapons. Slightly, they might be a little bit better than the standard, but I'm quite I'm quite happy with the the barb bow. I don't think we need anything else, and I mean, maybe a boom slinger, but I don't think so. I think elite alchemy training might just be the way to go. Ultra elixir. Improve our health files. I mean, that sounds pretty nice. Let's go for Elite Alchemy training for now, and then we'll get the Ultra Elixir after, or something. We oh. can't decide on what the right move is here. Joe? So? We require a third party. The Balloon Man. An old man with steady eyes st with steady eyes stands before you. I have been beyond the corruption, he asserts. I have built a hot air balloon for this purpose, and I have seen what can't be seen. But nobody will trust my word. I ask you 
to take, I ask to take your hero, Fiera Kavoris, on a new expedition to prove that insanity lies not within me, but out there in the expanse. I guarantee it will be a most illuminating experience. I think I'm about to say yes to this. Brainy, heart disease bountiful. It's that darn heart disease. Yeah, you can take Fiera. Fiera. We need to know more about what's going on out there. Ooh, she'll be gone for ten years. Balloon hero. Fiera Kavoris jumps into the giant balloon contraption with the old man, who whoops and promises that this will be like nothing the hero has ever seen before. That's fine. We'd better quickly do something about it. you. Take your charge. Take your extra item slot. Okay. Ten years. The game will be at an end soon. Sounds like this one might have been killed by their own experiments. If I was a sage that's, that's how lately. I'd go. I'll stick a Boris. That's a bummer. Go ahead. Just how old some of them are getting. I mean, most of them, anyways. Ugh. Bloody sage rights killed is almost not worth the time. That's pretty high intuition. Is, that, is Isabella not in the Vanguard anymore? I guess not. That's interesting. She's got really high intuition, so that could be useful. But I also, well, I mean, okay, let's just do it, I guess. It's a bit of a problem. Once they get old, you know. I wonder if the next step some of the customized training dummies left behind. I wonder why the standards die wands. so young. What's my favorite? Nine, well, 96 per year. Shaf Kavoris won't live much longer, to be truthful. Uh, definitely won't. But that is interesting nonetheless, right? Age 81. Decent personality traits, and look at that experience. So let's let's go with Shaf for maybe a couple more years. And I think that means... Oh no, I guess not. The weapon stays with Shafk until he dies. Ooh. Isabella died at age 58. Didn't we just make Isabella? That's insane, Isabella. You clearly were not cut out for this. Hey. Dim-witted. No, no. No. How about this fella? Okay, strong with low fertility, faint-hearted. I, you know, I kind of like Sergeant Sphinx for the uh, Hawkeye, even with low fertility. But I guess the low fertility kind of suggests that you wouldn't be great for raising little people, making little people. All right, Sergeant Sphinx, you're now sage, right? Try not to die right away. Word from the void. What? A dark falcon arrives with a few short messages from Fiera Kavoris. At first I could see the shapes of old keeps and towns rising out like islands, but now there's nothing. The corruption is an endless tide washing everything away. Saw a bird, though. That was something. Oh, cool. I guess we'll just keep getting word from the void. That's nice. Push through I thought so. Show them they're not welcome. I hate home wreckers. Lapses, bulwarks, and twitchers keep attack. Ooh. That's actually pretty exciting. Let's see our squad. 24, 25, 24, 34, 31. This is a great squad. Let's keep let's keep going. I am so down for that. We're going to keep going with the squad and we're going to work with the fact that why accuracy minus 3? Where does that come from? Is nervous truthfully that bad? I mean, that's insane. You've got to you got a steady hander, and you have accuracy 100% minus three. I mean, that's that's bullshit, man. What happens if I give you a second perilous core? Huh? Accuracy minus 11%. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. That's just really disappointing, you know. Really disappointing, as you can. I wish your accuracy was higher. I'm thoroughly disappointed in you. Though your plus four armor is decent, I guess, but ugh. 
<sighs> I, I guess we just keep everyone the same. Unless... Unless we can replace you with someone from that other house. No, it doesn't look like it. How about Dubrov? No, not really. Okay. We leave everything as it was, as it were, as it stays. Did we get that new armor? We did. We're going to test that out, so that's exciting. Uh, instead, we're going to get the bone shell armor. What's the difference? Oh! Minus 10 evasion. Defensive capabilities are a perfect match for caper jacks. Okay. I'm interested. Bone shell armor. Maintain the time fist caper. Um... Health file and the experience scarf that works quite well. Prime target. Okay. I'm I'm quite curious now to see how that works. You know, the extra health thing would actually be pretty good if we had that as an item, in terms of making uh, Illidan Illidan a a target that would attract all the hits, hopefully, and then they would all, each only do one damage because of the armor. That's the hope, anyways. Hopefully I don't actually have to use the armor, though. That's not really my playstyle. Oh, excuse me. Um, do we have a way to bring in the... Oh, no, the artifact... The, the weapon artifact for the close combat is actually with uh, the standard right now. It's kind of a bummer. I expected that turning him into a standard would give up the artifact, but I guess it didn't. That's fine. Those two artifacts are amazing enough. Mark Fatty Brockner. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we'll find out what the uh, what the time the time fist does. So let's deploy. Uh, there's nothing else I can think of. We've got steady hander on Cadria, which is probably a good idea. Steady hander. The three of them have their armor. Armor. No, that's fine. Uh, you can shoot. So perilous cores. So the nukers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go with it. Arwen Jang must have. Insanely high accuracy. Yeah, and that is a okay. That is a okay. You gotta have at least one person with. Wow, look at that madness. Okay, we're gonna de deploy. Woo. That was a pretty quick episode. Protect I don't know about bloodline. you, but I'm ready to hit something today. Oh. Now, I wonder when the time fist is going to play off. When are we going to see... When are we going to see that person? Oh, what's this? Prime target. While taunting all vis... Wow. I wonder if it actually works. This is a pretty nice keep again. Daisy Alexander. Right, same folks, isn't it? Oh, Daisy and Gennaro, not the same folks. What can we do with Gennaro here? What? Not Daisy, you fool. Gennaro! There we go. Take the flask shot. Go for put it down. Very nice. Perilous core. Oh. What item do you have? Experience scarf and a steady hander. That seems oddly reasonable. Alright, this should be a pretty straightforward one, I hope. What are we looking at here? Just normal lapses, so that's pleasant. Age, we don't know how old they are. Ah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully the time fist thing pays off and we have a seven hit point twitcher just show up here for some reason. I wonder. Or maybe it's only if it's on the same battlefield. That would kind of make sense. Right? Because we, we punched the guy forward in time, but that, you know, it should stay on that battlefield, technically. I don't know. That's just a really interesting concept. I wonder how that actually plays out practically. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Massive Chalice. Bye!